all right, this is the same video. Well, same day, like four or five minutes away. Four or five minutes later than the video that I just stopped recording. I'm in the same area and shit. The people who had them two dogs, they're inside the tennis court chilling. I almost was gonna leave, but their dog is inside the tennis court. Also where it shouldn't be, but oh well. Um, let's talk about um, this grand champion right here. Five-time winner right here, all right? I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> Everybody's talking about whoever's dog ain't tested and your dog look nice, it's not tested, and your dog look like this and it's not proven, and your stock is nothing and your stock is trash. All y'all motherfuckers sound stupid. Like... I don't know. So, I be watching people's videos. Like, I ain't no hater. If you got something you can really, like, I can learn from, I'll, I'll, like, I'll pay attention to it. Even, even people's videos that I ain't feeling, I still watch their video. I ain't gonna hit no dislike unless they saying some shit that really they shouldn't be saying. I'm not like that. I ain't gonna just dislike your video because I don't fuck with you. That's stupid. If I don't fuck with you, I don't want to see nothing you got to say. But if it's, well, if I don't fuck with you in, in that type of way, I'm saying but, like, if you just got a video talking about whatever, and I'm like, yeah, whatever, I don't really care about this nigga, I'm not going to hit this, like, you got to be saying some crazy shit on there for me to be like, yeah, this is too much. Yeah, I don't approve this one. But everybody talking about everybody else's dogs. And, like, I can't, I can't, I can't talk about whose dogs ain't proven or whose dogs are proven. If I'm not showing y'all nothing that's going on with Bishop, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the type of nigga to be like, oh, y y your dogs, your dogs are trash. And my dogs is this. My dogs is that. Like, me and Bishop live our regular fucking life. Anybody come over with their dog, I advise them not to. Like, we've been in a couple of little situations. I talked about them before. And, yeah, like... When my dog, I told y'all, when my dog was 15 pounds, he was running this motherfucker. I was trying to socialize him. He was running around this motherfucker, trying to dominate every dog. He ran across an Amstaff mix. They got um, mixed with something else. I don't know, some type of whack-looking ass dog. But you could tell the dog definitely had staff in it. But they got into a little scuffle, well, big scuffle. That dog was way bigger than Bishop. But all the dog did was bite Bishop's back leg. And then, like, Bishop's still biting the dog. I run over there. Well, I walk, I just start yelling. The lady grabs her dog. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I'm like, nah, he's cool. Bishop walked away limping a little bit. Well, not walked away, but I grabbed him. And then when we walked away, that was whatever. Mind you, this dog was 15 pounds. If you got... Yeah, you ain't going over there. This dog's over this way. Uh, if you look through the trees on my left, like right, right there, you'll see that there's people there with a dog you want to get to. There's people through here at the tennis court with a dog. But yeah, this motherfucker was 15 pounds and this. I'm telling you, this dog, no bullshit, was over 60 pounds. And like, from that moment, I'm like, all right, this dog is, I already knew he was crazy. We got his mom, my brother got his mother, so I already knew what, what he was like or what, what he potentially could be like. Not, I don't, let me just say he ain't, he, I don't want to say, oh, he's just like his mother. As a puppy, you don't really know your dog like that well. I don't, I, um, I know how his mother is. We, we got her. His father is with um, a football player. I don't watch sports, so I couldn't tell y'all who, but I got to ask my brother here to tell me the name again. But um, I don't know much about his pops. His pops is Macho Sam, one of Macho Buck's sons. But um, yeah, that's where his mayday come from, from the Macho Buck side. Well, not side, but Macho Buck blood. And then um, his bottom side is Boyles, his mom. And his mother. If people, oh, these dogs don't come black and tan. These dogs don't come try. Rah, rah, rah. They don't come try. Try is not a color coat inside the American Pit Bull Terrier. It's a color coat. It's not a coat pattern inside the American Pit Bull Terrier. But you do have black and tan. His mother is a black and tan dog. You can see what she looks like. You can see what her parents look like. She comes from the Boyles dogs from uh, Backstreet Trues. And that's his bottom side. And uh, I, I, I seen some shit where somebody was talking about, like, oh, what could they mix their Mayday blood with? It, it slows their dogs down when when um, 
they have too much mayday in their dog. Not slow them down, but they all, they, yeah, they slow them down or whatever. But somebody come and it add boils. It, it made me laugh because, like, the boils dogs are agile as fuck. And I keep telling people that, like, when I do talk about them, like, the way this dog can reposition himself on a drop of a fucking dime. Yeah, he lifts his leg when he takes a piss. He's doing that because of where he needs to take the piss at. Wasn't on the tree. It was on the fucking trunk on the roof. But, um, yeah, like, that boils blood from the, uh, they, 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 the way they reposition so fast is crazy as fuck. A lot of them are fast. A lot of them are crazy. A lot of them occurs also. I don't get my dog into shit I shouldn't get my dog into. But if my dog can defend himself and I know I'm not doing nothing crazy, my dog's gonna do what he needs to do. Like, so, so, uh, and another thing, like, when my dog got into it with my boy's German Shepherd, that was over my boy throwing his dog's ball towards my dog. Then my dog grabbed it. I'm like, nah, he's gonna think that's his. Dogs got into it over that, but I don't be glorifying nothing. I just know what I got, and I'm not out to prove myself or Bishop. Yeah, look at that. Yo, he, um, I was about to say, like, how dirty he looked. I don't know if you can see it in this video. The sun's shining in my eyes, and it looked like it's just dark in the video. But um, he's dirty as fuck. I need to clean him. If I take off this, this harness I got, and that harness ain't on him because... Like, ooh, he's this, he's that, or uh, whatever. I just liked how it looked, but now I want to go back to the old the old harness I had where it just went around his shoulders and around his uh, his back and then just one little, like, an inch and a half piece on his chest just to show him off more, but... Um, I don't know. I'm all over the place, I guess. But I'm back on this motherfucker. Like I said... If I upload my videos and these shits are blurry, I'm deleting them. Oh, um, let me go back to uh, everybody dissing each other. It's corny. You would think everybody would learn. Like, I've seen people from the jump. Like, not from the jump, but, like, probably, like, mid-2020, I guess, I would say. I've seen people, like, they were dissing fucking Triple J for whatever reason. And, like, I like his channel. The thing I like most about his shit is he stayed to himself. He ain't on here entertaining the bullshit. Y'all motherfuckers might can learn something from him. And I'm only mentioning this shit because I'm subscribed to y'all channels. And I don't want to delete niggas or unsubscribe to niggas just off of the fact that y'all can't grow up. That's just corny. Like, everybody be cool as fuck. And then, out of nowhere, everybody's not cool. Speaking of that, I would never tell one of y'all motherfuckers to to stop fucking with somebody's channel because I don't fuck with them. Like, all right, let's use, like, RDK, for example. I, I was subscribed to him when I first started this fucking, um, what you call it? When I first started uploading dog videos. My YouTube say I've been on YouTube for, like, a couple years at least because I used to have snakes. I used to do videos with, with the pythons and shit. But uh, get over here. But I stopped doing that because motherfuckers was beefing. And, like, well, not with me, but it just got corny. And then, like, the people who 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 made it above me faster than I did. Well, I didn't even make it up there. I ain't going to lie. But, like, the people who started after me and made it up from, like, giving out free free giveaways every 100 subscribers and shit. That motherfucker starts, they started stealing my, um... My ideas, I was saying to people, even the shit that I was pitching on YouTube, everybody just started pitching. I'm like, yo. And it wasn't even coincidence. They was literally word for word taking all the shit that I was saying. I'm like, yeah, this 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 ain't it. So I stopped. But so let me go back to saying like RDK. I, I don't I subscribed to him early when I when I first started. But um like, it was whatever, because I was just subscribing to people with dogs. I don't care. It's not about pit bulls. It's not about bullies. I just like animals. You know what I'm saying? But, um, he thing, he, um, I would just catch shit he would say, and it, it, it would just not be true. And I'm not saying about, like, other animals or, or, like, he would literally say stuff in the video, and then when you comment, like, yo, this part is not true, he'll tell you he didn't say that. 
that shit rubbed me the wrong. I'm like, all right, yeah, I ain't selling that. I'm out of here. Unsubscribe just for that reason. But I would never tell nobody else, like, oh, don't fuck with his channel because he be lying. Like, nah, I'll tell you I don't fuck with his channel because he lie. But, like, how everybody be joining homeboys up, and this ain't RDK. I don't want to say no names because y'all motherfuckers might try to say him starting beef or trying to jump in this Cody shit. But, like, motherfuckers be on that live, joining in, joining their homeboys live. And when he tell you, like, oh, go to their channel and, and hit dislike, or or maybe he didn't say that, but he'll say some shit like, hey, if you want to go there, then go ahead. But me personally, I wouldn't do that. That is, like, you're trying to guilt trip your little fanboys into not fucking with other people because you don't fuck with them. And let me tell you something, right? If 300 motherfuckers, and I'm just saying 300, 300 motherfuckers tell you something about me and they all don't like me, what did I do? It ain't what did they do. Like, how am I cool with everybody? And then out of nowhere, they ain't solid no more. Every single time. They can't be every single person wrong. Can't be. You got to check yourself. And motherfuckers be grouping his shit and piggybacking and making their own beef videos off of that. And then they be making their own videos talking about, oh, how you know you're doing? Like, come on, man. Y'all niggas is tripping. Wake the fuck up. Y'all gonna make a video about somebody else. Realize the situation you're in. There's a hawk over here flying above this fucking tree. Uh, I can't see it. Uh, if I stop. Uh, nah, I can't. I can see it in real life, but it's too bad. But like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling that. Everybody start dissing each other about their shit. But I be making these videos long as fuck. Talking about nothing, nigga. Damn. Y'all motherfuckers. I don't know, man. Shout out to everybody doing their thing. 